sabi na kanta, if you're lost, you can look and you will find me time after time. But what will happen if you don't really know how to solve problems regarding time? That's what we're going to talk about today. Hi there! Thank you for checking out my channel. Thank you for clicking on this video. If this is the first video that you're watching from my channel, I make educational and motivational content. So if you're interested, don't forget to hit subscribe and hit the bell icon to know as soon as a new video posts. Before we go on, I just want to thank Team Laika Japan for giving me this beautiful Snoopy watch. It's been with me since last year and uh, I've always brought it with me when I need to feel a little bit of encouragement from you guys. So thank you so much for all your gifts and all the knickknacks that you send over to me. Now like I said in my intro, we're going to talk about problems regarding time. Now, bakit kailangan natin pag-usapan? Lahat ng mga attitude tests usually meron at least one or two questions about that. And if you're not familiar with that, medyo mahihirapan ka pagdating sa calculation. How do you do it? How do I do it? That's what we're going to talk about. So in order for me to explain better, I'll switch over to my PC. I'll see you in a bit. Alright, so ito yung ating lesson on time word problems. Basically, part 1 ito. We're going to start out with the basics, which is adding time. Ito yung pinakamadaling part eh, magdagdag ng time. Now, pag nagre-reverse engineer na tayo or nagbabawas na tayo ng time, like for example, binigyan ka ng start time at end time, tapos tatanong sa inyo kung gaano kahaba yung nag-elapse na time, it's going to be more complicated than this. So I really want you to get the hang of yung uh, technique na ito or yung methods on how to do this para pag dinis natin yun yung mas advanced na topic ay ready ready na kayo okay now it may look simple and i know some of you may start to complain na parang ano ba yan madali lang yan sa akin pero hindi kasi sa lahat madali like a lot of people still have trouble with this i get a lot of requests for this type of problem so if you feel that this is too easy for you go ahead and watch another video na lang but if you feel like you need to speed things up pagdating sa analysis ng time word problems, then this is the perfect video for you. Okay? Now, let's start with the basic concept. The um, basic concept is that in one day, you have 24 hours. At pagdating sa oras, yung 24 hours na yan ay nakahate between 12 hours in the morning, which is a.m., and then 12 hours sa gabi, which is p.m. Alright? So, ibig sabihin nun, may 12 hours ka sa umaga, may 12 hours ka sa gabi, kaya a.m. and p.m. Now, the trick with time questions is you have to understand yung mga pinaka-threshold niya. Threshold niya is 24 for the hours. And then, for each hour, one hour, okay, and uh, we already discussed this dun sa conversion ng time na video, which I'm going to link here if hindi nyo pa napapanood. Ang isang hour I actually equivalent to 60 minutes. So when you're adding time later, you have to remember na, okay, pag lumampas na ng 60, ibig sabihin lumampas na siya ng isa pang hour. Okay, I'll show you more of this later. But again, the key times here are 1 day, 24 hours, 12 in the morning, 12 p.m., and per hour is 60 minutes. Now, your first method is actually very simple. Okay? B very simple yan kasi um, ang gagawin lang dyan is magbibilang ka lang, kaya ng accounting method. We're going to count, well, whether you use your fingers or a clock, dun tayo magbabase. Now, yung mga bata, like if you're young and you're watching this, or if you have a uh, younger, sabi natin kid or pamangkin, or kahit bahay na chinuchutora ninyo, usually around grade 3, grade 4, um, minsan nga kahit grade 2, meron na silang clock na pinapadala. So, they are taught how to tell time. Okay? Which, honestly, ngayon, looking back, dahil digital na lahat at lahat halos may cellphone na, titingnan na lang nila yung oras sa cellphone, meron ako nga actually mga few people na kilala ko na hindi sila marunong mag-tell ng time using a watch dahil sa naisa sa digital na clock. Pero ako kasi, mas gusto ko pa rin yung old school na ganitong klaseng clock. Mas madali kasi siya i-figure out and ano yun pala, in the long run, lalabas din pala siya sa exam. So, let's take a very simple question like this. Sabi, Ali and her friends left at 10 a.m. for a camping trip. If the trip took four hours, what time did they get to the campsite? 
So, ang idea ng counting method is you start with this at dahil 10 o'clock a.m. yan. Ibig sabihin, I'm only concerned about the shorthand, okay, or the smaller hand dun sa clock. So, I'm going to start at 10 and then I'm just going to count yung 4 hours. So, you have 1, 2, 3, 4 hours. So, the answer would be 2. Pero dahil lumampas ka na sa 12, di ba? If you notice right here, lumampas na siya sa 12. Ibig sabihin yung dating AM magiging PM. So, the answer would be 2 o'clock PM. Now, some people use a mental clock. Some people use fingers. Okay? Pwede yung daliri rin. So, you start with, okay, nagsimula ako sa 10. So, ang first hour niya, hindi ka magsisimula ng bilang sa 10. Doon usually nagkakamali yung mga tao, kaya sila nagkakamali dito. Ang sagot nila, 1, nakukulangan sila. Kasi binibilang nila, ang bilang nila nagsisimula sa 10, 11, 12, 1. So, apat yun. Mali yun, okay? Ang bilang mo lagi is the first hour. So, you start 11, 12, 1, and then 2. Yun yung pang-apat na oras ninyo. Kasi ito technically yung unang oras, yung 10 to 11. Now, that is the counting method. Again, pag very basic yung tanong, oras lang pinag-uusapan, buo naman yung minutes, medyo madali. Okay? Now, before we go to a more complicated problem, and for, before I even demonstrate kung paano gamitin yung isang method, there is a topic na kailangan nating daanan, which is this, yung military time. Kung kayo ay nag-CATC, uh, OCC, or OTC, or kahit basta familiar lang, lang kayo with how the military tells their time, you would uh, be familiar with the mod terms like 1,600 hours, 1,800 hours, 200 hours. Ganun sabihin niya sa military time. Now, bakit ko sinasabi ito or sinasuggest that you also know kung ano yung military time? Kasi parang yun yung magiging foundation nung next na gagawin natin. Okay? Now, ang ibig sabihin ng military time is that ang 8 a.m., ang basa nila dyan is 0,800 hours or 800 hours. Okay? Basically, walang AM, hindi na kailangan. Lahat ng nasa AM, as is sila. Okay? Magkakatalo lang kapag PM na yung pinag-uusapan. Kasi pag PM na yung pinag-uusapan, instead of saying 12.30 PM, masyadong mahab mahaba sabihin, ang ginagawa nila is, they just add whatever is yung lumampas sa 12, and then, yun lang yun. So, for example here, this is 12... 1,230, 1,230, okay, hours. Wala ng PM. Kasi ang idea is, again, lahat ng lalampas sa 12, yun lang siya, kadugtong lang siya. Kung baga, ang clock nila, 24 yung iniikutan, hindi 12 lang. Okay? Now, ang advice ko sa inyo would be to be faster in telling military time. Kahit yung cellphone ninyo, pwede mo siyang palitan ng settings. Instead of a 12-hour clock, you can use a 24-hour clock. Para lang masanay ka dun sa mga mas malalaking numbers like that. Okay? Now, kung, kung 2.15 ang pinag-uusapan, like, again, like I said, hindi na siya AM or PM, hindi mo siya ilalagay. Ang magyayari is yung 2.15, idadagdag ko ngayon siya sa 12. So, 12, again, o'clock plus 2.15, magiging 14. 15. Okay, ang idea again, kasi nakatlabing dalawa ka na sa umaga, tapos instead of nagbibilang ka ng 1, babalik ka sa 1, dadagdagan mo lang siya magiging 13, 14, 15. So the answer here would be 14, 15. Yan ang ibig sabihin ng 215. And then kung sabi natin 2200 hours naman ang sinasabi, kung i-convert ko siya pabalik doon sa AM, PM, or 12 hour na format, ang mangyayari dyan, ang gagawin ko dyan is, babawasan ko siya ng 12, Okay, dahil sobra siya sa 12, ibig sabihin, ayan ay nasa PM. At dahil meron kang 10 dyan, that would be 10 o'clock PM. Okay? So, actually, madali itong konsepto na to Probably you already know that na. Pero when you're faster in manipulating this, the faster it will be for you to do yung problem-solving part ng entire thing. Okay? Kasi ganun yung idea niya. Na basically, nagdadagdag ka sa minutes, nagdadagdag ka sa hours. Okay? Now, bakit? Ito yung other option, which is to add and subtract. Or basically, use military time. I-add mo lang siya straightforward, i-convert mo siya into military time. So, for example, ito, Ali and her friends left at 10 a.m. for a camping trip. So, ibig sabihin, nagsimula ka sa 10 o'clock a.m. Now, the trip took 4 hours. So, match ko lang siya, dadagdagan ko lang siya ng 4 hours. So, 4 o'clock, okay? Hindi yan 4 o'clock, 4 hours, yan, dadagdag ko dyan. 
So, magiging sagot is 1400. Okay? Now, yung 1400, alam natin again in military time, that is 2 p.m. So, all I did is add and then convert sa military time or subtract whatever you can subtract. Tapos, lalagyan mo na siya ng label. Okay? Now, paano kung kunyari 10 p.m.? Okay? Start ka sa 10 p.m. Ang mangyayari naman dyan would be, okay, kung, kung gusto mo mag-stick dun sa military time, that would be 2200 kasi yan naman ang, yan ang conversion ng 10 p.m. Okay? 2200 plus 4, that would give you 2600. At dahil yung 26 ay lagpas na ng 24, okay, which is one day, kasi wala naman kasing 2600. 100 hours, no? Mag-reset siya after 24. So, that would leave you with 2 o'clock. At dahil nga, ito ay PM, natapos ka ng 24, lumampas ka ng 24, ibig sabihin morning na siya, AM na siya. Okay? Now, yung iba sasabihin, eh, sana po binila ko ng daliri ko mas mabilis. Well, yes. Kasi nga, sobrang simple nung tanong. Dito nga papasok yung analysis, eh. In answering mathematical questions, yung atake or determining kung anong technique ang gagamitin mo, kadalasan it's more important than the execution of the technique. So, pag nakakita kayo ng tanong, ang unang tanong would be, anong technique ang gagamitin ko dito? Bibilangin ko ba yung daliri ko o i-add ko siya? Na kung oras ang pinag-usapan, buong oras, ang suggestion ko would be, magbilang na lang kayo kasi medyo mas madali yun. Kahit paatras, pwede rin eh. Okay, kung sanay ka na. Pero kung merong mga butal, dun papasok yung ay, kailangan ko pala i-add. Okay, let me give you an example. Okay, level up natin. Sabi dito, Ali and her friends left at 8.45 a.m. So again, may butal ka na, may oras ka na, may butal ka pa sa minutes for a camping trip. If the trip took 2 hours and 20 minutes. So again, meron ka na naman na idadagdag. Pero this time, may butal din siya, 20 minutes. So what time did they get to the campsite? Now, kung may counting method ako, dalawa ang problema ko. Una kong bibilangin kasi is the minute hand. The thing with time, always start with the left part. Okay? Seconds muna yung pinakamaliit, doon ka magsisimula. So, seconds, hours, and then days, if kailangan. So, kung dito ko magsisimula, nagsimula ako sa 8.45. So, ang position ng aking clock, in my mind, would be right here. This is 45. Tapos, so, dadagadagan ko siya ng 20. So, think for 5 kasi to. So, 5, 5, 5, and then 5. So, ibig sabihin, kung 20 ang dinagdag ko, matatapos siya sa 1. Now, ito yung part na hindi pwedeng mawaglit. Dahil lubagpas ka sa 12, ibig sabihin, magdadagdag ka pa ng isang hour dun sa hour side. Okay? So, yung 8.45, di ba? Dinil ko na yan eh. 20 minutes, di ba? Ito, 2. Dinil ko na yung side na yan. Dito naman ako sa 8 at 2. So, kung nagsimula ako sa 8, sa hours... Okay? Magmumove ako ng 1, 2, okay? 10 siya dapat. Pero dahil nga may plus 1 hour ako na nabuo out of the minutes, magdadagdag ako ng isa pa, so the answer would be 11. So ang sagot would be 11 o 5. Okay? With me counting and picturing the clock. Now again, sa makakatulong yung addition na method? Kasi kung mag a lang ako at subtract, subtract diretsyo na ako dun sa solution. That would give me 8.45. Okay? Tapos yung 8.45 na yan, ang gagawin ko na lang, dadagdagan ko lang siya ng 2 and 20. Okay? Tapos, etong part na to na to, 45 at 20, dahil ito ay, ang kalalabasan niya ay 65. Again, alam ko, lagpas na ng 60. So, iiwanan ko yung 5, yung 60, gagawin kong isa pang oras. So, this will be 8, 9, 10, 11. So, ganun pa rin yung sagot. 11, oh, 5. Pero again, hindi ko na kailangan isa-isahin na. Okay, minute, magbibilang ako, tingko 5 minutes, drawing ko yung clock. Ano, diretsyo na ako dun sa addition, diretsyo na ako ngayon dun sa sagot. So, again, whatever works best for you, kung ano mas matabilis, stick kayo dun. Now, bakit ko in-advocate yung addition na method. Kasi pag nagbabawas ka na ng oras, it's going to be different na. Okay? And some people really can't figure out kung paano yun gawin. Basically, ang konsepto kasi ng subtracting ng time is a lot like fractions. Basically, you're dealing with fractions na over 60. Kasi 60 seconds and 60 minutes. So, yung konsepto, yung, uh, kumbaga, 
calisthenics na ginagawa ng utak in, analyze, in, in analyzing this type of problem, same yung dadaanan niya, parang fractions. Okay? Now, I want you to be comfortable with this. Again, this is the first um, video do sa series, so dapat maging uh, kalmado kayo about dealing with this. So, you have to practice. So, this is your turn. You're going to add time. And I want you to try kung ano method works best for you. So, I'm going to give you three minutes for this question just so you can take your time and try it out. Your timer starts now. All right, let's see how you did, okay? So, sabi, Dustin and his friends left at 10, 10 a.m. for a camping trip. If the trip took 4 hours and 44 minutes, what time did they get to the campsite? So, again, you have your 10, 10. Okay, doon ako magsisimula. 10, 10. And then, ang gagawin natin, dadagdagan lang natin ng 4 hours and 44 minutes. Again, Para na hindi ko na hindi pwede ko na idiretso 4 hours and 44 minutes. What I do usually is, I always look at the givens first. Kung ang given, madaling i-manipulate, madaling tingnan, straight na ako sa addition. So, this will be 14, 50, 4, hindi naman siya lumagpas sa 60, so as is na siya. 14, 54, military time, babawasan ko lang siya ng 12, that is going to give me 2, 50, 4. Pero dahil may isa kang 12 na nabuo, that would be in the p.m. or sa hapon. So, the answer is 2.54 p.m. Okay? So, again, I want you to be comfortable with this concept para pag nagsusubtract na tayo, mas madali na rin sa inyo. Kasi pag nagsusubtract tayo, mas complicated pa siya. Lalo na kung mas maliit yung minutes dun sa babawasan. Okay? Which we'll talk about in uh, an, an, an upcoming video. Okay? Alright, I hope you learned something today. If you did, click thumbs up. Make sure that you share this video with your friends and don't exam din sila para mas marami tayong matulungan. And as always, don't forget to subscribe, hit the bell icon para hindi nyo mamiss mga paparating na mga videos. And if you want to reach out to me directly, you can go to www.facebook.com slash teamlaika for more information on my reviewers, the review events, online review program, at iba pa. I would love to hear back from you. So kung may mga comments din kayo, pwede nyo i-post sa baba, i-request ninyo mga topics na gusto nyo pag-usapan natin. Kasi the only reason why I made this video in the first place was because of a bunch of you na nag-request na gumawa ako ng video on this topic. So I do listen to you guys. I have a long list of video to do's. Hopefully, uh, marinig ko yung mga comments ninyo at requests din ninyo. Thank you guys. As we always say in this team, never stop learning. Aja-aja. Kain yan. I'll see you in my next video and bye for now.